Hello everyone, and I welcome you all to another video of our Pindy search uh, series, or basically just the search series. And in this video, we are going to look at a very interesting problem called the left index or the first most occurrence of a digit. And uh, we will be doing the question uh, with the help of Pindy search. Now, uh, first of all, let's uh, try and uh, read the description of the problem. So the description goes like given sorted array of positive integers, elements may be repeated, and a number x. The task is to find the leftmost index of x in the given array. Now this uh, just means that we have to find the first occurrence, uh, you know, first occurrence of uh, the x, the given number x. All right. As you can see, this is one, one, two, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. And the output should be zero. That means the first index. Right. Similarly, here n is seven. The array is, looks like something looks something like this. And if to you know return the index for twenty, and it would be first index. That would be first. Okay. Now you may pause the video. Uh, think for two or three minutes. Think about how we can you know find the search on this thing. Alright. So. Very simple idea of using the binary search here is goes like let's uh, try and take example two here. It is ten. Then this is ten. Then it is twenty. Then again it is twenty. Then again twenty. Then again twenty. This is one, two, three, four, five. Two more digits. More numbers, twenty and twenty. All right. Hmm. Now our low is pointing here, and the high is pointing here. So the first and foremost thing is uh, we simply you know find the mid and we know two conditions here. Yeah. That if uh, mid is greater than x, we will uh, reduce high to the minus one and if uh, mid is you know smaller than x, uh, low will become mid plus one. Now, so what if mid is you know equal to x? We know that elements are repeated, so there might be chances that this element is not the first occurrence of x. Right? Let's have the example here. Low is what? Zero. High is what? Six. That would be three. Zero, one, two, three. Mid would be here. But this is not the first occurrence. What to do? The simplest thing we can do here is we can compare this element with its previous element. We can see that array mid is equal to the array mid minus one. Then what we do is simply reduce uh, h to mid minus one. That means uh, h is zero and two. Now what we can do is uh, we will have two plus zero by two that is one. We will have the mid here. We'll again compare array mid with array mid minus one. It is not equal. Then we will simply return its index. Right. So this is what we have to do. Okay. Now let's try and uh, code this. Thing. Okay. So we have int let's let's have two values int low as zero, high as n minus one, while low is less than equal to high. We have a loop. Right, we declare n is as low plus high by two. Right. Now simply if no, x is greater than array of mid. That means uh, we have low as mid plus one. As if x is less than array of mid, we have high as mid minus one. As we know that array of mid is equal equal to x. Now we check a condition that if mid is equal equal to zero, that means if it is the first element, 
You might be wondering what is this condition. Right. Okay. Let's see this example. Here the first equation of one is first index, right? Now if I come at this point and if I try to check if array mid minus one is not equal to array mid mid, then mid minus one will be out of bounds and this would return an error. So I have to check this condition that whether it is the first element of the whole array as well. Okay. Now we did that. Now simply we Right. Else, high is equal to mid minus one. Right. Okay. Now in the end, we know we can simply return minus one. If no such element, um, we could not find any such element. Okay. There is some error. Okay. Let's have it small x. Let's um, small x here. Okay, I'll put it there. Now you can come to this point. Hopefully this will work. Hmm, there is some network error from my side, I guess. Hmm. Okay, let's run the file. Compilation is fine. Uh, do not submit the code. Okay, what do you have to say? What the problem has been solved successfully? Okay, so great. I hope you guys understood uh, how to find the first occurrence of any number or the left index of any number in a sorted array. Now, there is a small question for you guys a uh, uh, homework problem that try to find the right index of an element x or you know the last occurrence of the element x okay think and ponder over this question and try to come up with the solution and post it in the comment section i'll check it and tell you whether you are correct or not right and if you have any doubt regarding this question you can also ask your doubts uh, in the comment section as well and thank you for watching this video and we'll be looking at some more problems so Stay tuned. Thank you.